Hey guys, this is Saab Nahi from All Bating Logies, and as I promised, a tips and tricks video on the Moto G5 Plus. Here it is. Without wasting any more time, let's begin. Most of the features can be found in the Moto app itself, so all you need to do is just enable them. One button navigation, which was first introduced with the Z2 Plus, which I absolutely loved it, has finally made its appearance on the Moto devices. So suppose you go into settings, and then in Bluetooth settings. If you have to go back, just swipe left on the fingerprint scanner, and you will be on the settings page. If you just touch once, it will take you back to the home screen. Now to do multitasking, just swipe right, touch the scanner for two seconds to lock the device, and if you want to open Assistant, then hold it for few more seconds, and it will open the Google Assistant. Overall, I'm loving these gestures. Now to quickly take a picture, just twist your wrist, and you will never miss a moment. In case of emergency or need, you can chop twice to turn on flashlight and follow the same to turn off. Pick up to stop ringing and flip for DND is self-explanatory, so you can enable them from Moto app itself. In Moto app, there is one more option for display. So as you know, there is no LED notification light on the Moto G5 Plus. So if you want to see notifications on lock screen, you will have to enable this option. And that's not all; you can customize it too. Like you can block few applications for which you don't want to see notification. Also, you can control how much details you want on the lock screen. As at times our friends or family members can take our phones, and you, if you don't really want to show them your personal messages or photos, then you can change the settings. Now, coming on to the new good feature for multi-window, open one application and then hold on the multitasking button until you get to see other applications at the bottom part of the screen. Using this feature, you can watch my YouTube videos, and at the same time, you can do anything else that you want. So it's an awesome feature that you must use. Swipe to shrink feature is also present in the Moto app itself, but you can only use this feature if you use on-screen buttons. So you won't be able to use one-button navigation if you use this particular feature. Just swipe from the navigation bar, and the screen will shrink. And to go back to the full-screen mode, just touch anywhere on the black screen, and it will take you back to the normal screen. So that is how the swipe to shrink feature is. So yeah, these were some of the amazing tips and tricks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and let's aim for 999 likes at least. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you get notified whenever I come up with new videos on this channel. Also, make sure you follow me on all my social media networks to stay updated related to tech or to see behind the scenes stuff and some fun. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, everywhere. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. This is Sabna Hai from All Bar Technology. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.